Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today's video is called Cloud-Based Voice Over IP versus Hybrid On-Premise PBX. Which is better? So, recently I've been getting a lot of calls of people that are looking to switch to Voice Over IP, mainly because working from home is the new norm, and Voice Over IP is the only system that affords that. And I've had a few businesses that have literally said or asked, Prince, give it to me straight. We're entertaining the idea of a hosted or cloud-based voice over IP phone system versus on-premise, you know, PBX, like a phone system that, you know, you've still got the phones on the desk and all that, but it's got like the actual server and all that on site and you kind of own it versus it, versus it being in the cloud. Which is better? In this video, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown, apples to apples, of exactly which I believe to be better, pros and cons between the two. And we're going to go from there. But as a very quick spoiler, in short, cloud-based voice over IP, also what's called hosted voice over IP phone service, is without question better than an on-premise PBX. So let's look at the apples to apples comparison here, and I'm going to tell you and show you why. So going down the components here, let's break it down. Number one, installation. So Cloud-based voice over IP, or what I like to call hosted voice over IP phone service, it virtually has no installation. Everything is in the cloud. All that is basically going on is, is your voice over IP carrier is pre-configuring your phones to your account, and then they're shipping you phones. You take those phones, just like you guys have seen me do in many other videos where I do phone demonstrations and things like that, and you plug the phone into the internet, hence the term plug and play. That's it. It's done. If you need to change anything, there is no going back to the big utility closet, you know, like you remember the old phone systems do, like what the on-premise phone systems have, or having some technical guy come out that you're paying upwards of $125 or more dollars an hour to configure. You simply sit down at your laptop or desktop computer and log into a panel, and you can change whatever you want in the system. Because all you're doing is you're interacting with the cloud with the voice over IP service provider and you're cutting on and off features or rerouting calls however you want to and or so on and so forth. That's it. It's that simple. There is no calling out a technician. There is no paying anybody any hourly rates. And if you're somebody who's not very tech savvy and you don't know how to do this, you simply pick up the phone and call your carrier and tell them what you want to change in your system and they do it for you. And it's done and you go back to your business. It doesn't work like that with on-premise PBXs because I used to install on-premise PBXs for many, many, many companies in the United States. Not only small businesses, but even Fortune 500 companies. So I can tell you, I was paid well to do this and I was not cheap. In short, what it means is, is you're talking parts, labor, hardware, the whole nine when it comes to installation of an on-premise PBX. It's not plug and play like a hosted voice over IP system and your upfront cost is significant. Now, while we're talking about upfront cost, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking and it's the biggest question I get asked. Well, why would I want to pay for uh, you know hosted, uh, hosted voice over IP when I could just go ahead and spend a bunch of money up front and get an on-premise you know, PBX or voice over IP phone system prints and I own the system? You don't own the system. Yes, you own the hardware. But guess what you still need with that system to make it work? You still need phone service. Whether that be analog phone lines coming into the back of the PBX or SIP trunks, you are still going to be paying a monthly fee for those services. So you still never truly own your phone system either way you try to cut that cookie. Now, with a hosted voice over IP phone system, all it needs is internet. That's it. No SIP trunks, no analog phone lines. You already have to have internet anyways if you plan on having things like email and other things like video conferencing and much, much more in your office. So you're basically just piggybacking that hosted voice over IP service off of a internet service that you would already need. But I want to just clear that up because a lot of people always say, oh, I just want to buy the PBX outright and own it and not owe anything anybody anything per month. Wrong. You still got to have analog phone lines or SIP trunks because how else is that on-premise PBX going to get out to the outside world? Whereas hosted voice over IP uses the internet to do that. Features. Now, features is an interesting one because I have a lot of people say, well, you know, both of them are voice over IP. They've got the same features, right? Wrong. 
most on-premise voice over IP systems are not a true voice over IP system or what I like to call a pure SIP based voice over IP service like a Vonage, like an Xtiva, like a Ring Central, like an OnSIP. They are some form of a hybrid voice over IP. What does that mean without getting too technical on you guys? I'm going to give you guys a great analogy that I told a client the other day who actually busted out laughing after I told him this. So, let's say you're out car shopping, right? And you want the most fuel efficient car that you can find on the market. Something that uses virtually no fuel. You look at the Tesla, which literally uses no fuel because it's an electrical car. Or you look at the hybrid, which uses a little bit of electricity and a little bit of fuel. Which do you think is more efficient? as far as not using fuel or using the least fuel. The pure electrical Tesla, not the hybrid. In short, a hybrid is exactly that. A hybrid voice over IP phone system only kinda does all of the features of a real voice over IP phone system in kind of the sorta, maybe you've kinda got voice over IP but not really, but it's good enough kind of fashion. Or you could go with what I call a pure SIP-based voice over IP phone service, which is just that, pure voice over IP phone service that offers all of the features of voice over IP in their purity, in their purest form, I like to call it. So in short, you know, what I typically see in the field or what I typically see with customers and case studies that I deal with all across the United States is people with hybrid phone systems they can kind of do some of the features of voice over IP and even when it does do it, it only kind of does them, you know, a little bit well. It doesn't do the features to their fullest potential. It's kind of almost like a workaround or something like that, but a really expensive <laughs> workaround. Cost, short and long term. So we already talked about the fact that everybody's got internet. You already have to have internet, so you can't really factor that in as, oh, I've got to have internet so that I can run, you know, hosted voice over IP service. I mean, you needed internet anyways if you're a business that's in the 21st century that does things like send email and things like that. But, but um, you know, with a hybrid system, you need an extra added component, which would be SIP trunks or analog phone lines coming in to help that thing get out to the, you know, to the real world. And the truth is, is, that's an unnecessary expense, but that's not really what I want to touch on in this one. As I already mentioned and hinted on a little bit earlier in this video, with a pure hosted voice over IP system, everything is controlled and configured directly from within like a control panel that you have remote access to that you can access from anywhere in the world as long as you have internet. With most of your on-premise systems, yes, they can do some of those functions as well. You can access them remotely, but you are still very much in charge of a server or a piece of hardware PBX, like a PBX system that contains your voicemails and things like that and so on and so forth that is on your premise. This means you own it and this means you are responsible to maintain that. It means if a lightning storm comes through and damages it, you're responsible for changing out the motherboard on it and reprogramming it and paying your techs whatever hundred or hundreds of dollars they are per hour to do that, um, you, are in, you are in total responsibility of that hardware. That is a short and a long-term cost. With the hosted service providers, back to our plug and play um, scenario, the only thing that you are required to maintain is your physical phone. It's a phone. How many times have you broken an office phone in the time that you've worked in an office? I don't know how many times I've broken one. I don't think I've broken one at all. I can't remember. So as long as you maintain your phone and the internet in your office, that's that. You're good to go. You already have to maintain the internet in your office because, again, you need that for other things like communicating in the office with your staff, sending emails, video conferences, and other things that we use for the internet in this brave new world and digital age that we live in. So, you know, in short... A hosted voice over IP phone system has virtually no upfront cost and virtually no maintenance. Let's see here. What else did we miss out on here? I think that pretty much sums up the two. In short, hosted voice over IP has virtually no upfront cost. Um, most of the carriers these days, they'll give you the DAV on phones for free because they're not in the business of selling hardware. They're in the business of selling their service. 
Um, so you virtually have no upfront cost. It typically is going to save you money over whatever it is that you're paying currently for analog phone uh, service or for your current PBX. Um, whereas with a traditional, with, with a on-premise hybrid voice over IP system, you've got quite a bit of upfront cost for hardware. Um, you've got quite a bit of a learning curve if you're trying to do this yourself to install it. And if you're not going to do it yourself, you definitely have some pretty in the thousands, usually minimum of installation costs from a third party, like a, like a local telecommunications vendor or whatever. And then you've also got the long-term cost of having to pay for SIP trunks or analog lines to actually give this thing service to get to the outside world. Um, another thing I wanted to throw out there is many other of, of the, you know, hybrid-based PBXs, because they don't utilize the internet the way that a pure SIP-based voice over IP or what I like to call a cloud-based voice over IP system works, they typically also have quite a bit of long distance charges associated with them going through whoever the analog or SIP trunk carrier is that you're using because of just the way that they are utilized. The other big, big, big con to premise based or hybrid based phone systems at the time of this message is the ability to be able to telecommute and work from home or work, you and your staff work disconnected as a team but still have the appearance of being connected, like you're all working from home from mobile apps or working from home separately or working from your different respective offices or locations from your desk phone or your dashboard or whatever. It, with a lot of hybrid systems, not only is it virtually impossible, the ones where it is possible, it is a very, very, very expensive function and feature to try to roll out if you need this done in many, many different locations. And the even bigger issue is, is like I already talked about earlier in the video, you're only kind of, excuse my French, doing the features that a pure cloud-based voice over IP would do flawlessly and seamlessly with no setup. You're only going to be doing these features in a very, very half-assed capacity. So um, anyways, if you're watching this video, I represent both. Um, we represent or what we sell mostly on a day-to-day -day basis and what we help people procure is the cloud-based voice over IP carriers, but I also represent the guys that do the on-premise stuff too. So if you're looking for on-premise, we can look at both and dare and compare and mix and match and see what makes sense. But in short, in conclusion, in my opinion, based on my expertise in this industry and what I see that most people go with, especially now that working from home and being able to telecommute and being, being disconnected with the appearance of still being interconnected by way of your phone system, Cloud-based voice over IP service is the way to go. Hosted is the way to go without question. So if you're interested in talking about options or looking at different carriers or looking at what providers may be best for your business, give me a call. I can get you typically better pricing than if you went to the carriers direct. Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.